find out all about the real dangers with artificial intelligence. Number seven, job automation. Artificial intelligence has already changed the workplace and will continue to do so in the future. The biggest way AI will influence the workplace is through job automation. Proponents of such a method argue that robots will increase workplace efficiency while keeping costs down for businesses. It's all about efficiency. The idea of job automation isn't really all that new. I mean, there was a robot named Electro at the World's Fair in 1939. Ever since, computers began to make companies efficient. Pretty much any major company can't compete without the use of computers. Robots have been doing work in factories for years. Now, AI can be used to drive cars and control drones. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. This leads people to believe that robots could ultimately cause tons and tons of people to lose their jobs. They took our jobs! According to a story from Fortune.com in May of 2017, leaders in the tech industry such as Elon Musk argue that it's inevitable that robots will take jobs that don't require critical thinking from humans, and that a universal basic income will be inevitable. Any task that's repeatable without thinking is at risk. Other experts argue that if that time ever comes, it won't be for decades to come. Andrew McAfee of MIT pointed out that the economy is nowhere near peak capacity and there's still plenty of work that only humans can do. Will efficiency drive us to be more creative to create new industries requiring human critical thinking? Or will there be plenty of people without jobs? Number six, bad at learning so far. We're able to learn new behaviors pretty quickly. Yes, even stubborn baby boomers who were convinced life was better when they were growing up. We learn and adapt new skills and behaviors pretty quickly compared to other mammals. Think about all the different things you know how to do each day. For instance, on a given day, you might drive to work, do your job, drive back home, mow the lawn, and fix your dinner before watching your favorite Netflix show. You're able to do all this because you learned and retained the skills and information necessary to do so. That's a pretty busy day, but it's pretty much the average day in the modern age. The problem with artificial intelligence is that in most cases, they can only do one thing. Robots and computer programs might be good at performing specific tasks they've been assigned to perform, but they can't learn or evolve very quickly, which imposes some serious limitations. For now, at least, there's not really a solution to that problem. Speaking to The Verge, Google DeepMind researcher Raya Hadsell expressed her concerns. There's no neural network in the world and no method right now to train robots to identify objects and images, play space invaders, and listen to music, she said. In other words, the problem Hadsell and other experts see is that AI systems can't multitask. Sure, they can learn the rules to a video game or learn how to do your taxes, but a single system can only retain so much information at once. So, if said system learned how to play Super Mario, for example, but then tried to learn how to do your taxes, the information to learn each activity would interfere with each other. The AI would need to be basically forget the rules of Mario in order to do your taxes. Number five, can we control them? Everything we love about civilization is a production of intelligence, so amplifying our human intelligence with artificial intelligence has the potential of helping civilization flourish like never before as long as we manage to keep the technology beneficial. The last part of the quote by Max Tegmark, the president of the Future of Life Institute, is a bit unnerving. Artificial intelligence should only exist to benefit humanity. It shouldn't really come as a surprise that with AI there are potential security risks involved. First of all, the idea that AI could develop a deeper intellect than humans is a pretty terrifying prospect. As the Future of Life Institute warned, if AI somehow becomes smarter than humans in warfare and game theory, would it be possible to stop robots? Can Terminator 2 actually be a possible reality? Number four, how's the security? Okay, to be honest, I think that we'll be able to avoid some sort of borderline apocalyptic event. But what about the very real possibility of cyber criminals managing to hack into sensitive AI systems? Or worse yet, what if AI itself is used to do the hacking? That might make Hillary Clinton's emails and WikiLeaks seem like child's play. An article for the BizTech magazine 
pointed out that while humans are obviously capable of hacking these systems, AI can hack into databases, email servers, government mainframes, and whatever else we can imagine with machine-like efficiency. What might take humans weeks and months to do, AI systems designed to hack could do in a few hours. Think about it. No need for bathroom breaks and no need to sleep. The flip side of that, of course, is that AI can also be used to aggressively and decisively combat cybercrime. Number three, robotic emotions. If you've ever read The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, then you may recall a character named Marvin. He was an android who was severely depressed. This sort of dark, twisted humor is what made the series a hit, and decades later, it still maintains a cult following. Marvin even has a song by Radiohead as an homage. Let's not forget C-3PO and his pal R2-D2. Even before that, Howl the Computer from 2001, A Space Odyssey, had human emotions. And more recently, it was a central theme in the 2013 film, Her. Joaquin Phoenix plays a dude who falls in love with an intelligent computer system. Then there's X Machina or I Robot, and okay, you get the point. It's been a pretty common topic in pop culture and science fiction. The idea of robots with emotion seems really far-fetched and more suited for fantasy films. However, there might actually be an outside possibility that that could really happen. In fact, people have believed for a long time that it was a distinct possibility. In 2016, the Daily Mail reported that scientists in Russia were on the verge of creating a robot that could supposedly experience a range of human-like emotions. The virtual actor, as it's known, is the brainchild of researchers at the National Research Nuclear University in Moscow. This robot, according to the researchers, will not only be able to learn on the same level as the human brain, they'll understand the context in which things happen and stay up to date on current events. Sony has also announced that they've been working on a robot that could form bonds with humans. So why is this a problem? Well, maybe it's not so much a problem so much as it presents an interesting dilemma. If robots develop emotions, do we humans who created them have an obligation to make sure they're happy? Do they get the same rights as humans? What if a human falls in love with a robot? Number two, a lack of human interaction. With our smartphones, TV shows, and the decrease in general social interaction, it's safe to say that as AI becomes more and more of a thing, that trend will continue. As more and more robots and AI systems are implemented in the workplace, a human's dependence on machines will only increase. I mean, the tech addiction is already kinda a problem, as cell phones are already being used as a crutch by people. Humans are spending more time on apps than ever before. I mean, this is quite obvious, but this is by design for the app makers who want people to spend as much time as possible using their apps. Human interaction is a healthy and necessary element to each of our lives, whether we want to admit it or not. While artificial intelligence will certainly help us achieve more than we ever thought possible, again, it has its pitfalls. Number one, the end of humanity? Do I really need to mention that there are some people out there who worry that artificial intelligence could take over the world? If we have the cognitive ability to create robots and AI systems, then we should have the ability to create limits and control them. In most cases, that will likely hold true. But hold on. What if robots decide to take things into their own hands? Newsweek recently reported that there's a chance that within the next century, many robots and AI systems will be able to perform human tasks better than we humans can. About a 50% chance, in fact. This is based off a survey that they took from hundreds of AI experts. For example, they'll be driving trucks within the next decade, writing high school level essays, and will eventually be writing books and performing surgery. Well, it's hard to say yet, but some of the world's smartest people, such as Stephen Hawking, Bill Gates, and Elon Musk, have expressed serious concern about how fast AI is developing. While most robots and AI systems still have limits that prevent them from learning too much too fast, some people are already sounding the alarm. Aaron Heinz, assistant professor of integrative biology and computer science and engineering at Michigan State University, theorized that if robots were able to form memories and learn from past experiences, then we could really be in trouble. He warns that if AI systems and robots are ever able to achieve consciousness, then they'll eventually be capable of forming their own societies. 
Could that be a problem? Let's hope it never comes to that. Human intelligence can be so precisely described that a machine can be made to simulate it. That's the basis of the field of artificial intelligence, and it could lead to all sorts of advances in many different fields of study. On the flip side, however, it could also cause unintended problems and conflicts in the future. Artificial intelligence does indeed present us with a great opportunity, but if we aren't careful, it also might lead us to our own doom. Or it could just present mild setbacks. Either way, it's not perfect. Here's what's next. Things people agree on anymore. Need proof? Try browsing the comment section on any given YouTube video. Probably even this one. Having said that, most Americans, minus Richard Spencer and company, can agree that the Nazis were bad. So you can imagine the PR nightmare that ensued after Connell International Trading Company.